Hello and welcome to Photo Education Online. I had someone ask me about working with actions in Photoshop and so I wanted to put together a quick tutorial here to show you how to set up your own action in Photoshop. And what we're going to do here is set up a kind of a, a basic thing that will run through and give it kind of a processed look. Uh, the actual effect isn't as important as much as just trying to understand the steps we're doing here so you can set up your own action. Uh, first step to start a new action is you get into your actions palette and there's a little triangle, upside down triangle right here you hit. And your new action. And we will call this processed. You can also, by the way, back in that screen, set up shortcuts with your F keys. But for right now, we're just going to have it here in the palette and we'll run that manually. Here we go. Now you can see down here the little uh, red dot means that it's recording our action at this point. So as we start doing things, it's going to be remembering them. First thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this layer in the layers palette. And I'll just call this processed. So I'll be able to go back to my original and see what it looks like and decide if it's something I even like. And we'll do a couple of things here on this layer. First, what I'm going to do is go under Image, Adjust, Hue Saturation, and bring down the saturation to maybe like negative 35, negative 34. So there's still a little bit of color in here, but it's very muted. Hit OK. And kind of compare what we had there. OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this top layer again. And this top layer, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to turn it black and white. You can do it however you want. I'm just going to do image adjust uh, desaturate to give us a black and white on top. Then what I'm going to do is right here under the layers or the blending mode, I'm going to switch that to soft light. So I've got that on top. And then to kind of combine those together, I'm going to go up to Image, Adjust, I'm sorry, go under Layers, Merge Down, let's sidetrack there. So I've got my processed image on top and the base image underneath. Uh, that's pretty much all I want to do. So I'm going to go up here to the little square, which means Stop. And there you go. We can look at the before and the after. So then what I do, if I decide I want to try that again, let me go ahead and throw this away, start over with our original image. What I will do is just make sure I am clicked on the, the new action we just created. Let's get it right there at the bottom where we can see it. Click on that, I hit play. There you go puts it together for us. So give that a try. Put together your own actions. If you get some that you like and that you are using a lot, go ahead and uh, when you're setting them up, assign them to uh, little shortcut keys and that'll help you even more. But this is a great way to set up things that you do on, on a frequent basis so you don't have to do the steps over and over again. Hope that helps and uh, check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.